Okay, so we're going to problem like, um, like this 9 to the 2x equals 27 to the x minus 1. First thing I want to recognize is that 9 and 27 are both um, numbers that I can make into 3 to some power. So I would write 9 as 3 squared, and that's still being taken to the 2x power. So instead of writing 9, I wrote 3 squared, but still to the 2x. And then instead of writing 27, I can write that as uh, 3 to the third. And that's still to the x minus 1 power. If I think of them that way, I'm going to keep 3 as the base now. Um, what I have over here is 3 to the 2 to the 2x. So remember, a power to a power means that I'm taking 3 to the 2 times 2x, which is 4x. And that has to equal 3 to the, and now I'm going to take it to, to the 3 times x minus 1 power. So <clears throat> I'm going to have to use, of course, because that 3 is being times x minus 1 times that whole thing. So I actually have to uh, distribute. Um, so 3 to the 4x equals 3 to the 3x minus 1, which tells me that 4x has to equal 3x minus 1. So I'm just going to distribute right away. I might as well. So 3 times x is 3x minus 3 times 1 is 3. And now I would just go ahead and solve that like I would solve any other <coughs> problem. Um, the, the next one, so I'll let you finish that up. The next problem on here, the trick is to recognize here that 1 out of 20, or 1 over 25 is the same thing as 5 to the negative second power. So when I set that up, I have 5 to the n minus 1 equals 5 to the negative second. So if 5 to something equals 5 to something, that must mean that n minus 1 is equal to negative 2. So I'm just setting those two exponents equal to each other, and then solve it from there. The last one, <clears throat> the thing to recognize on that one, everything else is the same except for the square root of negative 3 is really 3 to the 1 half power. So instead, of, I mean, instead of saying square root, you want to write that as a one-half power. And then to remember that you have to use the distributive property when you're working out um, this problem as well. So when you distribute that in, your equation ends up being, oh, and then of course, uh, 9 is 3 squared, which we mentioned before. So if I think of that as being 3 squared, then I'm going to take 2 times the whole quantity x minus 2 here. And remember to distribute in. So on the left side, I end up with 1 half times 2x, which is just x, minus 1 half times 4, which is 2. And on the right side over there, I end up with three time, or 2 times x, which is 2x, minus 2 times 2, which is 4. And now I have an equation that I can solve in the old-fashioned way.